Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about instruments used in microwave surgery and mastoid surgery. There will be a short overview about the instruments that are lined up here. So first, this one is the self-retaining mastoid retractor and it is plaster self-retaining master detractor it has three prongs on both sides so this is three into three prongs and you can see the middle prong is enlarged then the other two prongs this is because so that it can retract the external auditory canal skin so uh, in, in addition to retracting the soft tissue it can also aid in hemostasis by occluding the blood vessels while retracting and it is used in mastoid surgery tympanoplasty surgery and uh, uh, during harvesting of temporalis fascia and also in tracheostomy and laryngofacial surgery and this one is also same name instrument but this is two into two prong two into two prong plaster self-retaining master detector two into two prong so now this one is the farabiof mastoid periosteal elevator farabiof mastoid periosteal elevator it is used to elevate periosteum over the mastoid region during mastoid surgery to elevate the periosteum during caldwell leg surgery and during maxillectomy surgery now this one is the crocodile forceps crocodile forceps also known as alligator forceps and this is used for variety of purposes in middle ear surgery like uh, transfer of uh, gel foam transfer of uh, graft or fascia removal of granulation tissue etc this one is the uh, micro ear cupped forceps because it is cup shaped on both sides and it is used for removal of granulation tissue cholesteatoma tympanic sclerotic plaque it is used to take biopsy from the middle ear also it can transfer gel foam ossicles during ossicoloplasty surgery and it can be used during placement of graft this one is the micro ear scissors i have two scissors here micro ear scissors micro ear scissors this one has uh, is uh, somehow bigger then this one this one is a smaller both are micro ear scissors the micro ear scissors are used to cut corda tympani to cut stapedial tendon and for freshening of the margin to remove the skin tag during tympanometal flap elevation or tympanometal flap incision it is also used to excise the middle ear adhesions this one is house dater malleus head nipper And this is used for removal of the malleus head and incus head during clearance of middle ear disease. Now this one is the Cawthorn Curb Pick. Cawthorn Curb Pick, sometimes called needle. And this pick can be of different angles. This is curved and this one is the right angled if you can appreciate it if you look at the tip very closely there is a right angled peak here. this is used for freshening of the margin of the tympanic membrane for myringotomy purpose for stapedotomy for removal of granulation tissue etc so the next one is the plaster flag knife so these two are plaster flag knife because these are flag shaped and these are used to incise the external auditory canal skin for tympanometal flap elevation and it can also be used for margin freshening purpose the next instrument is rosen micro ear knife yes can you see the rosen micro ear knives this one is a little bit larger than this one and this has bands 
for suction purpose because sucking directly over the tympanometal flap may endanger it. So if we suck over this vent, it will protect the tympanometal flap during tympanometal flap elevation. So this rosen circular knife or round knife is used to give incision over the tympanometal flap and to elevate the tympanometal flap. It can be also be used to make the undersurface of the tympanic membrane raw. The next instrument is Mac even cell seeker and curate. This instrument has two ends. This end, the blunt end is used to find the editors at antrum and air cells. That's why it is known as cell seeker. And this curate end is used to curate any bony overhang. This one is the micro air ball probe. You can see the tip is ball shaped. The tip is ball shaped. That's why it is known as micro air ball probe. It is used to pulpit the medullary structures and it can also be used for cell seeker purpose. It is also used for placement of grafts. This one is the micro air sickle knife. It has variety of uses. It is used to freshen the tympanic membrane margin. It is used for mining autonomy purpose. It is used to skeletonize the handle of the malleus. And uh, it can also be used uh, for dislocation of the incubus tapedial joint. And it can break the medullary adhesions. This instrument is known as house ear microcurate. Okay. Look here, both end has the curate. This end has curate and this end has curate but as of a slightly smaller size. So this house air micro curate is used for removal of any bony overhangs, bony spicule and polystritoma. This is the polyger myringotome which is used for myringotomy purpose. Have a look. Polyger myringotome, which is used for myringotomy purpose. Now I have uh, the handheld perforator for stepidotomy purpose. Next one is the shear stepidotomy piston measuring rod. It has uh, three spikes. And look, uh, from the lowermost point, it has three spikes at different levels. Three spikes. This one is 3.25 millimeter from this point. The next one is 3.5 millimeter. And the next one is 3.75 millimeter from this point. This is used to measure the piston, which is required for the purpose. And it measures the distance between the undersurface of the footprint of the stapes to the midpoint of the Incus. The final length of piston is measured by adding 0.25 millimeter with the measured length. This instrument is known as house graft press forceps. The house graft press forceps. It is used to press the cartilage or fascia graft before use. Now you can see these are the bars cutting bars we use during the drilling purpose of the mastoid bone. The bars may be of different sizes. The bars has sips. The elevated part is known as sips and the grooves. The more the sips, the less is the grooves and the bony chunks are smaller. If there is less spikes, then the groups are larger and the bony chunks are larger. So this is the cutting bar which is of uh, various sizes from 0.5 millimeter to 7 millimeter and the length may be uh, from the length may be from 45 millimeter to 70 millimeter. There is another bar which is known as diamond bar or polishing bar. Uh, in that case there is no sips but uh, some roughness is over there and it helps 
us to work around the vital structures like facial nerve or sigma sinus and the diamond bar or polishing bar also helps in hemostasis by clogging the area with bone dust this is an interesting instrument this is combined suction and irrigation cannula combined suction and irrigation cannula this one is for the suction and this one is the for irrigation purpose and it is useful during temporal bone dissection and it eliminates the need of an assistant to pour the water or normal saline over the temporal bone during drilling now this one is oral speculum look i have different size oral speculums different sizes and this type of oral speculum is called tumarkin oral speculum it has a split at its one end this splitting is for helping us to give the canal wall injections and the speculums are useful for inspection of the tympanic membrane, inspection of the external auditory canal, uh, for removal of uh, any foreign body or wax, and for mining autonomic purpose. And I have mentioned that this split helps us to give the canal wall injections. So this is Tomarkin oral speculum. Okay. Now these are you can see of different sizes micro ear suction tip and these are called Verhoeven micro ear suction tip these are of different sizes they suck very little amount of secretions and blood but it's very helpful to work around the vital structure and this one is the adapter and these two are the adapter for micro ear suction tips which helps that suction tip to connect to the rubber tube. These are the micro ear suction tip and these are the adapters. So the last one inside this box, come closer. Inside the box, I have cartilage slicer. I have cartilage slicer. And this is cartilage slicer. So this is like cartilage slicer, cartilage is placed over here, then it is locked like this, like this, then we can cut the cartilage with the help of this cartilage slicer oh, this is a simple blade attached here and if we want to control the thinness or thickness of the cartilage then we can place some we can place this one these are of different thickness we can place it and over it we can place graft then we can lock it and cut it with the help of this blade so this helps us to control the thickness of our sliced cartilage so this is in short i tried to give an overview about the instruments that are used in micro ear surgery or uh, mustard surgery I hope it was useful for you. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.